I, you know, you need a mix of all energy sources, and people need to realize that you need this mix. You need oil, you need gas, you need uh, renewables. People talk about renewables as if it's the fix-all. If you look at renewables, you can, uh, you can generate electricity from wind and solar, but you can't uh, manufacture plastics and, and things that you have in this room that are all manufactured. Makeup for women, uh, creams. There are a lot of things that go, that you have oil and gas products that go into it from refining and so on. So you can't do away with it. Panels in your cars and so on. So, so renewables, as far as just saying generating electricity, does not solve the problem. You need a proper energy mix, and it can't be driven by just politics and politicians want to get into a seat to say this is the solution. It sells, you know, it, it's a nice pitch to say uh, energy transition, but when you dig down and look at the reality, it's not achievable. And I think the signal from the G7 today uh, attests to that. The only thing that saved, uh, I think, humanity and, and, and Europe this year was a cold, uh, a, uh, sorry, a, a warm winter, and uh, you know the slowdown in the economy worldwide. If it, the economy starts churning back up in 24, and you have a reasonable, just a regular winter, I think I think the worst is yet to come. If they don't realize that and have a proper plan and sit down with producers and oil uh, and gas companies and not demonize them, uh, and and you know reality will kick in, and I think we'll have a sensible solution.